What's going on guys? So really quick, I just want to ask you to think of the word failure. Now, whatever came to mind right now, it's probably more negative and it's probably associated with feelings of embarrassment and shame. And this is because society has programmed us to feel that failure is something that is really negative and is something that should be actively avoided. So a lot of the times we have things that we want to do, but we actively avoid doing them in fear that we'll fail and that society will shame us for it, that our peers and our family and everyone else will, you know, view us as this failure and as this embarrassment. We feel that we're going to be that one person who, who didn't do the right thing. A lot of the time, we never actually get started because we're too afraid to fail. A lot of this comes from the internal programming of how our brains are sort of wired to work is we want the approval of our peers and of people around us because that's how it worked back in the caveman days when we had to stick together with the group or we would end up dying. We had to basically be a part of a group in order to survive. Obviously now we don't face the same problems that we did when we were cavemen and we needed this survival instinct to maintain part of the group in order to survive. Nowadays, you're not gonna die of hunger if you don't you know, stay with your group and win the approval of your group, right? The fear of failure is just so dangerous. It's so dangerous because it can basically ruin your life. If you're always afraid to fail, you're gonna end up living a life you really don't wanna live. And never failing means you never tried. Never failing means you never actually went out and tried to do something that was meaningful to you or tried to do something that was challenging and important. Because everyone fails, man. Everyone who does big things fails. It's just part of the process. Now, I live most of my teenage years being afraid to fail. For example, I would be in school and the teacher would ask a question. And every time I would have an answer in my head. But I wouldn't say it because I was too afraid that it might be wrong. And every single time the teacher gave the answer or some other kid gave the answer, it was the exact answer I was thinking of. I, I had the right answer. I was just too damn afraid to put it out there. I was just too afraid of, of getting it wrong, honestly, and looking like an idiot. That's really what it came down to. Even though I had all the ability, it wasn't like I didn't know the answers or, or I wasn't paying attention. I was just too afraid to participate in the, in fear that I would be wrong, in fear that I would be embarrassed because I got it wrong, in fear that people would think I'm stupid because I got it wrong. And yeah, the whole thing is stupid. Like looking back on it, that's really that's really stupid. Like a lot of you guys can probably relate to just being afraid to fail and being afraid of of being seen as a failure to the point where you don't actually take action to what you want to do. Another thing that the fear of failure can cause is regret. A lot of the times I look back on, you know, my life and there is some regrets that I have because I was too afraid to fail and I didn't go, I didn't put myself out there. I didn't take that opportunity. I didn't, you know, I didn't do as much as I should have or I could have. I didn't try essentially because I was too afraid to fail. And the one thing is, is failure, you can get back up from failures, man. You can always just get back up. Regret you, there's nothing you can do about it because once the time has passed, once the opportunities are gone, 
there's nothing you can do but look back on it and reflect upon it. You can't do anything about it. Failure, you can always get back up and try again. That's why you should not be afraid to fail. Because it builds you as a man. It builds you as a person. So, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. And maybe even relate to what I'm saying. Now, you may be wondering, at this point, what do I do about it? Right? Is there something I can do about this? Is there some action I can take to make this better in my life? And there actually is. So what you got to do is you got to just actively try to get out of your comfort zone and just try to be uncomfortable more. Because I know it sounds cliche, oh, get out of your comfort zone. Like that's, that's a pretty cliche thing, but it's very true and it works. I was always more of a shy, quiet and introverted kid. And during my teenage years, I was sort of seen as cold. And I wanted to change this. I wanted to be more warm and more charismatic and just have a more enjoyable experience with being social. So later in my teenage years, I decided to change this. So I read How to Win Friends and Influence People and I would, I would go out and actively try to apply the concepts in the book to, to grow essentially, because in the beginning, they were very uncomfortable for me. Like just the idea of, you know, smiling at strangers was something that was enough to make me a little uncomfortable in the beginning. But the more I went out and the more I did it anyway, even though I was uncomfortable, the more comfortable it got for me. And in, in that way, I grew because I'm going out and basically trying to do things that are uncomfortable for me, right? So the more I do of them, the more I expand my comfort zone. And basically, that is what growth is, is you're right here. This is your comfort zone right now. You go out to here. See, you go out to here. You go out to here, you go out to here, you go out to here a bunch of times and your comfort zone adapts. It just, it starts expanding. And once I push past the initial discomfort of say something like smiling at a stranger, that started be, to become increasingly easier for me to do the next time. And that's what's really awesome about just chasing discomfort, honestly is you get this like rush in you like you've never had before almost a feeling of just like wow man like i didn't know i had that in me like that's a part of me now which is awesome i like the idea of comparing chasing discomfort and growing to the conquests that empires used to do way back in the day so when an empire would go on a conquest, essentially they were trying to acquire new land for their empire. And that's sort of what you're doing when you're chasing discomfort is you're going out and you're seeing things that are uncomfortable to you right now. Those are the new lands, right? Those are the uncharted lands that you haven't been to yet. And each time you chase discomfort, you're taking back those lands for yourself, for your own empire. You're taking those for you and, they, and then they become a part of you. And that's really the beauty of it, man. Is just watching your own growth. You just become in love with, with living life. When you realize that, man, like, I can really do anything I set my mind to. Because a lot of people like to say, oh, I'm not the kind of person who could do that. Or, oh, I'm not the kind of person who has that ability within me. And maybe you don't yet. And that's a lot of times like really what it is. You can go out and just pr and practice, practice, practice and get comfortable doing that sort of stuff. 
and and you will grow as a person and it will become a part of who you are. I wasn't really a social guy back, you know, when I was younger. I was always more introverted, more kept to myself kind of kid. But the more I went out and intentionally tried to grow and tried to be uncomfortable and be in different social situations, the more I grew as a person. And now I'm, 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 I would say I'm a very social person. And it's just become a part of who I am. And, and the greatest thing about that is it was my will that made that happen. It wasn't something that happened to me. I happened to life. That's really the beauty of it, man. Once you let go of that fear of failure, you become the one in control. Life becomes yours to take. Through being uncomfortable and through that discomfort, you're going to fail, man. You are going to fail. It is going to happen. But that's okay because it's those failures that are going to teach you how to really succeed. You're going to learn more from the failures than you are from the successes. I think it was Thomas Edison who said, I haven't failed a hundred times. I've just found a hundred ways that don't work. And that should be the way you look at it. You're going to learn from these failures. So there's no point to view them as something negative because you're taking something away from it anyway. You're taking away more from failure than you are from never trying. That's really what it comes down to, is that never trying is going to guarantee that nothing ever happens to you. Nothing good will ever happen to you from never trying. When you try and you fail, in a way you gain because you learn and you gain experience. By never trying or never doing anything because you're afraid to fail, you guarantee that you will not succeed. That is the only way you guarantee that you don't succeed is, is to never try. And a lot of the times, what is the reason people never try? Because they're afraid to fail. That's really what it comes down to. So just next time you want to do something, but you're afraid of what people will think of you if you fail, or you're afraid of what your friends will say, you're afraid of people make fun of you because you failed, because you tried and you failed. Think about how the, a lot of those people are the same people who aren't going to try themselves because they're too afraid of failing. You should tell yourself that. Is these people are so damn afraid of failing and they're really so unhappy with themselves because they have that feeling within them where they want to do something and they want to go out to do something, but they feel imprisoned by the thoughts of others and the fear of failure. So when they see you go out and try something and fail, they are almost relieved that you failed because they are able to confirm their own fear of failure by you failing. And what I would recommend to you is just ignore these people, man. Look at them and say, do I wanna be like these people? If you don't, who cares what, the, who cares what they're saying, man? So honestly, the next time that you think about trying something new or talking to that person, but then you just get flooded with the fear of failure. You should just remember that failure is a necessary step in the process of becoming better. Just remember if you never try it because you're afraid of failing, all you do is ensure that you never succeed. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you in some way. And if it was, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just stay tuned for some more videos coming. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.